Hey guys, it's Undead Media with a long overdue haul video. Uh, I haven't uploaded in over a month because I've just been too busy buying movies. Um, but here we are. So this is just going to be a voiceover. It just works better with my workflow. Um, so yeah. Um, so I just basically removed all the movies that were in my last video off the shelf. That way I can go ahead and just blow through these. These are the only ones that I, I haven't got to yet. So if you haven't seen my last video, go check that out on my channel and then come back and finish this one. <laughs> Alrighty, well, first up we've got 30 Days of Night, uh, early 2000s vampire movie. Next up is 2001. We've got Alice in Wonderland. American History X. As Above, So Below. A Bay of Blood. Giallo Film. Beetlejuice. We got Carrie. Next up, Children of the Corn Genesis. The Conjuring 1. Conjuring 2. Then we've got Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead. It's a double feature. Dead Silence. The Devil Inside. Don't Breathe, and we've got The Evil Dead, The Exorcist, just watched this one the other night, pretty, well, yeah, The Exorcist, <laughs> we got Event Horizon, Godzilla, Gravity, Gremlins, Grindhouse, Death Proof is one of my favorites, I like that one a lot, Haunting in Connecticut, and we've got Jaws, first one, Jaws 2, Then we've got Kill Bill Volume 1. And we've got Land of the Dead. So this one I got before I got the other one, and I wanted Dawn of the Dead, so I got both. Uh, it's just Lights Out. I got these three Lord of the Rings. So I've got Fellowship. And then I've got Return of the King and Two Towers is next, but I actually got all these sealed at the thrift store, so that was a killer find. Got Midsummer, the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, another thrift store find, so that was that was a blessing. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, No Country for Old Men. Next up, Paranormal Activity One. And I've got Paranormal Activity 2, Paranormal Activity The Marked Ones, The Ghost Dimension, and Paranormal Activity 4. Got all those at the thrift store too, along with the Polar Express. Sealed, it's a little tattered, but hey. Uh, Predators 2010, Psycho 2. I have the first one in 4K. Uh, Psycho 3, the original, the first actually, The Purge, got that at Big Lots, it was like $4 I think, Reservoir Dogs, Thrift Store again, I, I get so many at the Thrift Store, it's it's unbelievable, so, uh, Return of the Living Dead, I'm actually pretty blessed with uh, one of these, well, both two Thrift Stores, uh, Salvage, uh, they, I mean I get yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, Saw 8 Film Collection. Then we've got Seven. This I got at the swap meet, actually, that one. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. Spaceballs. Speed. Texas Chainsaw. 
the strangers i had actually never seen this before or the the sequel which is right here the strangers pray at night and uh i liked them both got the original terminator i already have it but this is a newer version of it terminator 2 skynet edition i have the 4k but you know how that goes uh terminator salvation the thing this is the prequel Training Day, Tremors, I haven't seen that one yet, I gotta get to that one, uh, War of the Worlds, Watchmen, I actually like this one a lot, and Weird Science, another one that I like a lot, then we got the Mummy Trilogy, brand new sealed at the thrift store, so that one was another killer find. Got a couple more that are sealed from the thrift store, but Alien Covenant, 4K with the slips, Halloween Kills with the slips, Joker, the original The Thing, my favorite John Carpenter movie, as of right now. You know, it changes a little bit, but from time to time, but I, that's my favorite. Uh, I've got Heat 4K. Wasn't dark for me. I watch movies with all my lights off and pitch black in here. So, got knives out. Scary stories to tell in the dark. The Revenant. Got life. Casino. King Kong. Got Get Out, Us. Can't wait to get Nope. I love Nope in uh, in theaters. So Prometheus. Then I've got only three Kino Lorbers. Oh, plus the Bay of Blood at the top. But this one's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Got Misery without the slip, unfortunately. So looking for that if anybody wants to get rid of theirs. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. And I'm going to get into some Aero video. I only have a few that I got this past month and a half. But this is Deep Red, limited edition. Comes with the movie, obviously. A little booklet and a poster. Then I got Children of the Corn. Just a 4K with the slip. Got Hellraiser 2. Didn't have this one yet. I have the first one. I actually ordered the Region B box. But, yeah. Dawn of the Dead, 4K. Got this from Orbit DVD a while back. It looks, oof, looks super good. I mean, some Screen Factory box sets. I've got the Omen collection. It's got the original four and then the remake in there. It's a pretty nice box set. I've got the Fly collection. Just picked this one up. It's got the original three plus David Cronenberg's remake and the Fly 2 really enjoyed the, the fly um, and we've got the rec collection got this one um, I watched the third one already because my girlfriend really likes that one and it was pretty good I enjoyed it um, I've seen quarantine so I guess I kind of know what the first one's like so and we've got child's play the 4k's I got all three um, I actually waited to get the second and the third one um, but yeah, I mean, they look, they all look really good. Um, actually, well, I know for sure the first two do. I haven't seen the third one yet. I haven't had a chance, but love that one. Um, got Escape from New York. Got King Kong. Waited for a while to get that one at the store because I was waiting for it with the slip. Then these next six are thrift store finds. So there's Phantasm 2, 3, 5. And Halloween 2, 4, and Rob Zombie's Halloween. Uh, these are all Scream Factory releases from box sets that I found at the thrift store. And I was like insanely lucky. Somebody's wife or girlfriend or mom said, uh, you got to get rid of your Blu-rays, I guess. I'm not too sure, but I feel bad for him or her. I don't know. I got Apocalypse Now, 4K, Star Wars Complete Saga. This was a gift from my dad. He found that at the thrift store. Uh, it's Planet of the Apes trilogy for 25 bucks. Got that when it was on sale. Love all those movies. 
Back to the Future. Got this sealed Blu-ray at the thrift store. And then I have the 4K trilogy as well. Next up, we've got Band of Brothers. So this one I haven't seen yet, but it's been recommended to me. Dark Knight trilogy. Then I've got Alice in Wonderland in 3D. Don't have a 3D Blu-ray player, but the slip was 3D, so... Uh, Conjuring 1 with the slip. I know I have that, but I didn't have it with the slip. And that was another thrift store find. Conjuring 3. Then I've got Dark Knight Rises. Again, I know I have the 4Ks, but, you know, that slip. <laughs> I've got The Dictator with the slip. District 9 with the slip. I've got Django Unchained with the slip. Love that movie. I've got The Grey with the slip. If you haven't seen that one, you should watch that one. That was pretty cool. Plane crash kind of movie. Uh, the Lighthouse. One of my freaking favorite movies. Uh, with the slip. Got Men. I like this one. I thought it was a little weird at the end, but it's good. Uh, Phantasm. Five film collection. With the slip. Possession. I haven't even... I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Um, Prometheus. I know I have the 4K, but this one's got the... It's a Blu-ray with the slip. This one, again. And now I've got the 4K. <laughs> But the slip was really cool. I've got Videodrome from Criterion. I think that's the only Criterion I picked up this month, really. This past month and a half. Uh, Star Wars trilogy. Then I've got the the uh, Christine Steelbook. I've got the Evil Dead Steelbook. Got that for like eight bucks. That's why I couldn't pass it up. It's probably like the third Blu-ray of Evil Dead I have. Godzilla vs. Kong. Love this freaking steelbook. Looks so sick. Love the artwork on that. Good Burger. That was a steal. Um, Hellboy 4K. Really like these movies too. Uh, I've got Men in Black. The steelbook. Another one that just, you know, I really enjoyed the artwork on that. Men in Black International. Got that one for like $7.50 on eBay, I think. Mission Impossible, Fallout 4K, got that one for less than 10 bucks on, I think, Walmart.com. Predator Steelbook, I know, I think I have like two or three versions of this movie already, but the Steelbook was, couldn't pass it up, I liked it a lot. Uh, Robocop, this is, oh, this is another Arrow, yeah, so I got a uh, Robocop Steelbook, got this one at Barnes & Nobles, I think it was like 26 bucks. Uh, another gift from my dad, this is a uh, Scream, the 25th anniversary steelbook. I've got Hacksaw Ridge. This I actually found at the thrift store for three bucks. So that was my first 4K steelbook I found. Ratatouille DVD. That's for my girlfriend. <laughs> Her favorite movie of all time. And I got Boogeyman on DVD, which is something I used to watch when I was a kid. Uh, must have been like four or five years old. Me and my twin brother used to freaking put this on loop. So yeah had to get it once i saw it just for the nostalgia so last up i've got the uh evil dead groovy collection this uh, i told myself i wasn't gonna get it because i already have evil dead one and two in 4k uh, but you know i can't resist the deal on amazon so it's got evil dead one two ash versus evil dead season one season two season three and the bonus features which i forgot to show but the box is really cool it opens up you know really nicely on the back just the back side it's got the the uh cabin on there and then you open it up and it's got like a little bloody handprint this is a i mean for 50 bucks i mean 51 since some change i mean geez yeah i couldn't couldn't pass this one up i'll probably get rid of my four kids that i have but who knows <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know if there's any movies that I definitely should get. Um, so far, I'm, I've been getting good titles that I really enjoy. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, I'm going to try to do my best to not leave, you know, uh, over 100 movies for one video. That way, I can just, maybe I'll do weeklies or something. I don't know. But, yeah, that's it.